In this video, we're going to learn about pass by reference in C++. So pass by reference is a way of passing arguments to a function such that those arguments can be modified in the calling function. And this is in contrast to pass by value. So let's go over an example of pass by value first. So we'll make a basic function here called increment. And the function is going to accept one argument, which is going to be an integer x. And we're going to increment x by one. And the function has no return value. All it does is it tries to increment x by one. In the main function, we'll make a variable called a that's going to be an integer. And we'll set it to four. And then we'll try calling the increment function. We'll say increment a. Now to figure out what's going on, let's print out some values. Let's print out x after it's been incremented. So x after increment. And we'll also output a before and after calling the increment function. So we'll say c out a before, and we'll output a. And then we'll also output a after calling the increment function. So a after colon, output a, and an end line. So we'll save this and run it, and we'll just see what happens. So after running this, we get a before is four, and that makes sense. X after increment is five, and that makes sense because we passed A to increment, A is four, and therefore if we increment X by one, it should be five, and that's what we get. But then after calling the function and we output A, we get that A after is four. That might not seem to make sense, but what's going on here is pass by value. So pass by value in C++ means that this variable is not really passed to this function. What's really passed to this function is the value of the variable. And it's kind of like at the top of the function, we have a local variable x that's been set to four because a was four. And really what was passed in was the value four and x is set to four. And when we modify x inside this function, it has no effect on a in the main function. And that's what's called pass by value. And pass by value is what you most typically see first when you're first learning C++. Now there is pass by reference and pass by reference will actually allow us to modify a in the calling function main. And the way it works is pretty simple in terms of the amount of code required. You just say, and in front of the variable, or we could put it here too, in front of the type, either will work. Okay. But if we save and run this, we'll get a different result now we get a after is five. So pass by reference works in a fundamentally different way. With pass by reference, it's not the value four that is being passed to the increment function. A reference to a in the main function is being given to increment. And when increment changes x, it's changing a. So that's pass by reference. Now, one of the things that's really neat about pass by reference is that we can use it to have a function modify multiple variables in the calling function. So normally with functions in C++, if we're using pass by value, the functions have one return value and that's really it, right? But with pass by reference, we could modify multiple values at once in the main function, as opposed to having a function that does some work, returns one value, and then we assign that one value to one variable in the main function. So let me show you what I mean here. I'll make a function for swapping two values. I'll say void swap int and x and int and y. And this function is going to swap x and y. So we'll say int temp is equal to x, x is equal to y, and y is equal to temp. So we're using the classic swapping algorithm here of using a temporary variable. And we're taking X and storing it temporarily into the temp variable. Then we take X and we overwrite it with the value of Y. And then to swap the values, we store into Y the old value that was in X, the original value of X, and that completes the swap. Now, because we're doing this with pass by reference, we can modify two variables at once in our main function. So we'll try this out. Here we'll say int b is equal to four and int c is equal to eight. And we'll output b and c before. 
we'll say before B was, and we'll output B. And then we'll also output the value of C, followed by an end line. And then we'll call swap with B and C. And then we'll output B and C after the swap. So we'll say after here. And if we save and run this, we can see that we swap the values of B and C, where B was four and C was eight before calling the function. And after calling the function, B is eight and C is four. And this is great because typically with a function in C++, we have to do something like this. We'll say int result is equal to function and we'll call the function with some values here like 10 and X and Y or whatever. And the function will return one value and we can change one variable in main. But here, we're changing two variables in main at once. So what about pass by value versus pass by reference when it comes to objects? Let's make an object and learn about that. We'll make an object up here called counter. We'll say class counter. And it's gonna be a very simple object. It's gonna have one private member variable called count. It will have a constructor that's going to initialize count so we'll say here counter and we'll initialize count to zero and we'll make functions for printing the count and incrementing the count. So we'll say void print in the print member function. We'll just output the count. We'll just say C out count colon output the count output an end line. And we'll make an increment function that will increment the count member variable. So void increment and then count plus plus. So the increment member function will just increment the count member variable. So let's try out pass by value with an object counter to see how it works. So we'll scroll down to the main function now and down here we'll make a counter object. We'll say counter counter and then we'll try passing this counter object to a function. So let's make a function that will accept a counter object as an argument. Here we'll say void increment three times. And we'll accept a counter object as an argument using the pass by value syntax. And then we'll say counter dot increment, counter dot increment, and counter dot increment three times to try to increment the counter three times. Now let's try calling this function in main and see what happens. So we'll put the value of the counter before calling the function using the print member function. Then we'll call increment three times and we'll give it counter as an argument. And then we'll try to print out the counters count value again using the same print function. So if we save and run this, we get count zero and count zero. So the counter object in the calling function main wasn't actually modified. So we're getting a similar pass by value behavior occurring here. Now with pass by value and objects, what happens is a shallow copy of the object is made and that is what the function will use. So technically increment three times was working with a shallow copy of the original counter object. Now a shallow copy is not a big deal if all the data in the object is on the stack. If the data in the object is also on the heap, in other words, you've dynamically allocated things that your object is using, a shallow copy can actually be dangerous in that case because the copied object is gonna be referring to those same things on the heap potentially. So that's something you got to worry about if you're talking about pass by value in objects. Now that said, we can also do pass by reference with objects. And sometimes it's a very good thing to do as well. Because let's say, for example, that our object is very, very large. In the case of this counter object, we have a single member variable. But imagine that our object contains a lot of data. In that case, do we really want to make a copy of the object? Pass by reference can save C++ from having to do that. So pass by reference with objects 
has the exact same syntax. We could just put an and here, save it, and run it. And now we'll find that count is three after calling the increment three times function. So that's passed by reference in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.